Okay, so here's my homemade carburetor. It's got a little hose for um, a little pump to pump air, and it's got this top vent, right, this top uh, hose right here. That once this uh, fuel gets agitated, uh, the vapors are gonna accumulate and come in through this hose. So here, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to start it. I'm gonna show you guys too that fuel tank is empty. It is completely empty. So um, right here, I'm gonna try to start it. It will not start because there's no fuel in it. There. Now. What I got to do is I am going to take this right here. I'm going to put this hose right here, this top one for the vapors, right up here. And then I'm going to take this hose right here, put it on this little pump. Come here, please. Come here, man. Right here, down here, then this little, little pump type deal. It comes off, it's like, almost like a cam cover. That goes all the way down to here. It's gonna just pump it. I'm gonna put this right here so you guys can see it well. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime it by doing this by pumping it a couple times. Now what I'm gonna do is here. I'm going to make this thing wide open throttle. You just have a spring holding it like this. Right there, it's wide open throttle. Everything's hooked up. And I'm gonna start it now. Okay. Maybe a little bit less. That's just about it. Really easy to make. Just a water bottle, a couple hoses, and a couple caps for the water bottle. But yeah, that's about it. That's how you can make a homemade carburetor off of, off of a water bottle. Thanks for watching.